Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Shrihari from B2B. We'll be discussing today about setting up Informatica managed file transfer high availability. So, first thing, uh, why we need Informatica MFT HA. So first, uh, f as we all know, we need to provide continuous uh, services for enterprise partners the web users which we talk in terms of managed file transfer so if you want to transfer files to informatica mft any of the listener or if you are running any jobs so all this uh, if if there is a issue and if your mft goes down so all these tra all these transfers are uh, ongoing transfers or uh, the jobs which are running will be will be interrupted and they will be terminated so if we have one or two or more informatica mft server in mft and uh, if we are if, if we can uh, set this <coughs> high availability then we will be able to provide the continuous support uh, continuous services to partners uh, by making them to uh, send the files to uh, different ports and and we can and the jobs which we have will be running in the second node as well so uh, so we can allow workloads which will uh, which will help uh, mft also mft process as well um, to make sure that it is balanced so if there are for example 10 jobs to, to be run and uh, you have a lot of connections to informatic mft listeners so in in, the, in a single node you cannot uh, you can manage it so if we if we if we take in a bigger picture so uh, if we have two nodes in the in this case if we can balance by uh, sharing the loads like five five each and uh, even in the services uh, the listeners connections probably we can divide so <coughs> these things uh, needs to be will be done if mft no if there are two nodes so if you have more than two nodes again it will be it is it is based on how much you are using what is the complexity of your uh, usage of informatica so if you see um mft ha architecture is like this so the main uh, informatic mft if you have two informatic mfts so this is how it is so you need to have a shared database uh, so uh, like basic pur basic thing you have to make sure is you need to have uh, a database which uh, is shared with uh, shared with two different informatica mft so uh, mft will be while installing the node one i mean i mean when you are installing the for mft for the first time you are using one particular database and when you are installing it for the second time you can just point this particular database and it will also use the same database and it will also have the same information which informatic mft has in the first first node so all the jobs job information how many projects you have the workflow names and all the information all the mft repository this needs to be shared and second so mft shared file system so these both mft needs to be shared with file system as well so they might be installed in a different server but you need to have a single location where both m both mft1 and mft2 has access to this particular file system so this is to maintain loggings so both uh, informatic mft will log uh, as to uh, https or uh, and uh, <coughs> informatic mft log and all the other logs like FTP, SFTP, all these services and web documents so when a web user uploads a file all this needs to be kept in a shared location because if a node 1 downloads it and if node 2 wants to continue with a further job so it will be uh, a shared file system which it require, uh, requires and uh, it will consider and it will take this particular file and then process accordingly so even packages and documents it, uh, we need uh, a shared file system so i'll be explaining in this in more detail so we'll start with a simple installation of informatica mft so in the node 1 and then node 2 
usually we know how to install in node 1 um, but I'll just show you how to what all the steps we get and uh, what to do in the node 2 installation at the same time and uh, we can then continue what ne what needs to be done next okay I have the installer here so I'll just execute it so we consider we, we are installing this for the first instance so in the first instance what needs to be done you have to provide the path so that is same uh, to what you actually do so let me uh, let me do that once <laughs> so you can give any name <coughs> and you have to provide this install folder and you can just select one because you are just installing informatica mft so this is not required so you can just uh, so while creating the mft repository you, can, you have to just select this and then provide the name so what happens is um, okay at this particular step you have to use blue use the same database uh, which you use for uh, so this is the first time when you are installing um, you have to provide this one second I So you have to provide the link here and then you have to provide which database you are connecting to, the port number, the SID, the username here. So you have to make sure uh, that you are using the same database. So while installing the for the first time, you have to use particular database but and then when you are installing it for the second time you have to use the same database same user same same username and the same SID which means that you are trying to use the same database for both the uh, both the time so which means this particular architecture which I explained so while installing you have to make sure that you connect to the you you so you have this particular option so you first time when you are doing you have to use uh, um, a, a create a new database so when you're you are installing it for the second time I'll just show you how what uh, needs to be selected at that particular time so this is the second time if you're installing it I'll just give this location use an existing managed file transfer repository so f when you are installing the second node you have to use this particular option and then you have to give the oracle or sql server any database which you used for the first time which this will ensure that you have already used the shared database okay so you have to install it normally you have to provide the port numbers you have to then it will get installed and then the next step will be the <coughs> I'll be explaining the next step so the remaining part is using the shared file system shared file system and uh, <coughs> this particular documents packages web docs logs this needs to be logged in particular place so I have a I have already 
two MFTs which are HA already so I'll show you what needs to be done and how the logging takes place okay the first thing is once you install node uh, so this is the first node I have so once you install it go to logs system global settings go to the data tab okay so here you have to give the shared directory the shared directory which I was explaining about is here so these documents web docs logs packages so this location should be accessible by node 1 in my case I have this server and also node 2 so node 2 I'll show I'll I have a different uh, node but this is enough so you can access one console you have to provide this particular all this should be shared location that is the first thing now come to this particular location so this is node 1 so go to the M informatica mft install directory mft server config so here you will see a cluster.xml file so here you have to provide node 1 host name this is the host name of the node 1 which means you have installed mft in the first server Th this is the name of that server this is the IP address of that server this server okay so you can provide the cluster bind port based on the availability of the port I have 8006 which is available so I have given this log level will you can keep it as it is and cluster enabled you have to make it true this is the main so you have to make this true you have to provide this particular host name and the IP address and the port which is available and this can be kept as it is so once you do this you have you can restart this MFT so once you change this file you can restart Informatica MFT so it will consider itself as a coordinator because it's just one node so we have coordinator and participant both uh, terms here so coordinator means the one who is coordinating and participant is the one who reports to this coordinator so that is the secondary second thing so right now I have this up and running okay so you have once you you have to change this so there are two things you have to change all these values to the shared directory that's the first thing second thing is you have to change this cluster.xml and you have to make this as true and give these three information this is the thing this is this the, this completes the setup from first node from the first server so let's move on to the second server where we have installed MFT with the already existing MFT repository so we'll see what needs to be done there so <coughs> I'll just open that so if you see there is nothing much to be done so even in this location you don't have to do much so here even here you need to update cluster.xml because we have already changed the values of documents and web docs so here we have to just make the cluster enable to true and the system name you can provide of the second system the IP address and the port so from the second node just this information is enough so from the second node point of view when you are installing you have to use an existing MFT repository and while in the while for the first node you have to use create a new repository and in the first node you have to once you install it you can just go and change the global settings data data tab to provide the shade directory for all the documents and logs etc and for, uh, for the second node you don't have to do anything in the first node you have to update the cluster.xml in the second node you have to update the cluster.xml 
so once you do this you can just start the informatica mft and the second node so i'll start informatica mft in second node so we can see what how it uh, comes up and how do you see this in the console it's up and running okay so yeah so this is how I see so you can see here <coughs> there are so initially we had only one service actions here so you have two nodes and there is HTTPS for both the listeners for both the environment which means both the servers so you can see you can start HTTPS service here as well as HTTPS service here which means two HTTPS services are running okay and if you go in this location so if you see you have two so you have to go to if you want to troubleshoot if it is not coming up you have to go to the shared location okay you can go to the logs folder the logs folder is created here if you see there are three logs one is informatica mft inglx65 which means node 1 second one is inglx72 which means node 2 this is a common log okay so all these three logs you can check so if your node 1 is not coming up you can check this if your node 2 is not coming up you can check that particular log and this is appended based on the entry you provided in the cluster.xml okay and this one you, this is a common log you need to check okay that is um, that completes the high availability so this you can you here if we have uh, now initially we had only five listeners I mean one listener uh, to this particular thing so here we have two AS2 listeners which means multiple partners uh, can send AS2 messages to AS2 or FTP with different ports on the same uh, uh, on this particular server or this server and MFT should be able to manage it so this is what um, uh, makes high availability to uh, provide uninterruptible services to partners okay so this is the demo so we would like to hear from you if you have any feedbacks if you face any issues please contact informatica global customer support uh, if you have you can check all this in uh, support videos at informatica.com and you can also tweet using this link thank you bye